Hey Virgos, this is a monthly for January. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general, so it will not resonate for everyone. <clears throat> if you're interested in a personal, um, then the information for personal read is below the video, okay? Happy New Year, you guys. Hope everything's going well. Let's see. If you're new, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. We got cards trying to jump already. Let's see what's going on for my Virgos. What's going on for Virgos? What do Virgos need to know for the month of January? Virgos. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, you guys. I'm going to lay the cards face down. That way we can explore them together, okay? Alright guys, let's see what we got going on here. Who? Um, a lot of you are feeling like you're about ready to give up on something. Either you are ready to give up or it's something that um, you have already ended. But you're kind of still feeling the residual effects of it. Okay. Let's see what the energy around you is. Yeah. Something happened that... Um, this is a breakdown. Um, could be a breakup for a lot of you. Or it could just be, since this is a general reading, it could be um, some of you have either just gotten laid off from a job or fired from a job even. Um, something of that nature. Or just quit a job. But there was something that was uh, weighing on you. And there was like this, this abrupt ending here. Because the Tower and the Ten of Swords is like, you know, almost like being stabbed in the back if you look at this card. So, in that case, if this is for, like, regarding a job, um, a lot of you have probably felt stabbed in the back. Whether it's from a boss, co-worker, something like that. Um, but if this is a breakup, like, in a relationship, then the same concept applies. You guys feel stabbed in the back. Um betrayed you know that sort of thing let's see what's challenging you what's challenging you is to walk away gracefully is what I'm feeling to not argue to not play more into a situation to make it worse is what I feel to walk away with integrity that's what I'm getting let's see why you're here yeah, because you, you felt like you, you're carrying all the weight. You're carrying all the weight on your shoulders. So for most of you, um, I'm still not really sure whether this is a job or a breakup, but we'll see with the other cards. But, you know, if this is regarding a job, you felt like you were the one that held all the responsibility. You were the one that did all the work. If this is a relationship, you were the one that, you, you know, is basically carrying the relationship you almost feel like you're in a relationship by yourself or were in a relationship by yourself here and that's why you know this breakdown has occurred okay let's see in the past you wanted to walk away but I feel like whatever this is where you feel betrayed this is a path that you chose and um, and you're feeling truly burdened by it, like you're regretful. You're regretful that you chose this path. Let's see what the best possible outcome is. Yeah, best possible outcome is that you walk away. Walk away with whatever in, um, integrity, um, whatever, whatever you have left. I, I don't think you can get any more emotional fulfillment out of this situation. Is what this card is saying like it's done everything that you can get from it you have gotten from it and it's time to leave it behind okay in the future near future I feel like I feel like there's a decision to be made 
you're looking for justice in the situation. And, and so far it looks like your justice is actually leaving this situation behind where you felt betrayed or you feel betrayed. Excuse me, you feel betrayed. You feel like everything's on your shoulders. Everything is weighing you down. And um, it, it's now time for you to try to figure out, you know, what is actually best for you and everybody else in this situation. Of course, um, how you feel comes first. Okay. But, but your challenge is to do it in a way where you have integrity. Do it in a way where you're not feeling like you're one-upping someone okay this is all about having integrity doing what you feel like is right for you but um, not intentionally trying to hurt anyone else with that okay let's see what your outside influence is yeah you're needing a change you're wanting a change you have three endings here actually you have four endings here with the ten of wands um, the Ten of Swords, the Tower, and now you have Death. Death is, is, is changing, changing a situation, changing a situation that is no longer serving you, ending that so you can, you can bring something new in that is um, better suited for you, okay? Hmm. And your hopes and fears, I feel like... <laughs> So this, this to me says that this is about a relationship. Um, I feel like you love this person. You love, you love this person. You're very attracted to this person. Um, and you are in, and your fear is that you may never find someone that, um, that you have this connection with again is, is what I'm feeling. You don't want to lose this loving feeling, although you know the situation, um, like you're over it. You're over this situation. But you still love this person. You're still very attached, very attracted to this person, okay? Let's see what the overall outcome is. If you walk away, I feel like your overall outcome will be that you just continue to you know work do what it is that you um that you normally would do like in your um in your mundane way of living you will continue to work but this is also you like i feel like rebuilding yourself restructuring like the way that you think and the way that you do things okay so that's what i feel about that all right so my Virgos that is what I have for you guys for the month of January and um, you guys be blessed and um, I pray that all is well for you okay I'll speak to you soon bye now